Hey, that is not my song. You said what you say? Man, that is not my song. I, don't know I, was, say, I was like, I don't know what that shit's about. I was like, I somebody like, keep upload. Somebody keep like pranking me or something. Like, they be fucking with you? Yeah, like they add the, you know what I'm saying? They add the song like under my name. You know what I'm saying? Like they upload the song and put Sean Ferrari. That's the bullshit. Like, hey, but stop everything y'all doing. I need y'all to go. You know what I'm saying? Go, go to my page. Go, you know what I'm saying? Go, uh, fuck with sixteen ounces. You know what I'm saying? Download that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shop with them. Use my code, Young Rory. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy. Shout out to my boy Justin on here. Hey, good luck, man. First nigga that was making TikToks and shit to my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm keep it up, bro. I gotta get some more on the fucking on the ground soon, bro. I mean, on the TikTok, bro, bro. My face. This shit, bro. Yeah. What's the word, man? Play that shit, man. What's happening? What's, what's up, man? I don't even know. I'm about to, I'm about to get, I'm about to get it now, right now, bro. I've been fucking with what you've been doing for a minute, though. Like for real, for real, bro. Like I may have joined late, bro, but I've been fucking with it, bro. That's crazy. It's like top three YouTube music, bro. From God. Huh? I say you was my top three and top three, top three music, and I used it for my first ad. I don't know if you've seen it, bro, but I got um. My ass for my shoes, bro. I use the video. Uh, I mean, I use your song for one of them shits, bro. Oh, that's yeah. all. I keep that shit going, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up, what up too, bro? How, how you doing? I'm straight. Where you from? I'm from out DC. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, where you from though? Actually, because I don't even. I know I'm you have a uh, uh, interview out, but I need to go rewatch it. I mean, I need to go tap in type shit. That wasn't a good interview, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Follow him from the city. He ain't no. Really like the question mm -hmm. asking, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All the shit like that. But I'm from St. Louis, uh, Missouri, not Illinois. That's the east side. You know what I'm saying? I'm from uh, you know what I'm saying? North side though. You know what I'm saying? How old are you? If you don't mind me asking, like 25, 25. 25? Young so, nigga. Nah, nah, yeah, I'm only 19. Young, I'm like super young nigga though. You know what I'm saying? Like is that what? I said I'm a young nigga, but I ain't super young nigga though. Bro, I'm 19. I'm only 19. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, I might be 20 on Friday, though. You finna be 20 Friday? What you doing for your birthday? I got shit planned, bro, but I got the uh, the clothing dropping on Friday. So hopefully that do good. Dropping on Friday? Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got coming. You got to going on, Rory, in the comments. You got to send me the link and shit. You know what I'm saying? Damn, what the fuck? Bro, I got you, bro. And fuck it. Nigga, I got you with some clothes, too, bro. If you ever want to fuck up. Hey, no, but you seen the shirts I sent you, too, bro. So if you ever want to work on that, bro, I definitely got you type shit. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. We definitely, we finna put all this shit in motion on. Hold on. Oh, God. They said you make beats, Justin? Nah, but this nigga do. You make beats, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. These niggas that thought I made uh, smoking on Tuki Tuki. I mean, on fucking, uh, what's the name? What's the name of the song? Uh, picking up Big Sean by Chief Keith, bro. They think I made that song. I'm like, bro, I did not make that shit. I just made the song. Uh, the partner, uh, Lil Sai made that beat. He from, he from, uh, he from, uh, London. Oh, shit. You said from London? Yeah, he had, he made a lot of shit for me, too. He made, uh, Trap House Part 2. Oh, shit. Uh, I, nah, I gotta tap in all the way, bro. Hey, hey, Rory, we gotta do an interview eventually, bro. Cause I be doing the interviews low key, but I gotta get on back, get back on my shit. I definitely wanna, or at least have a conversation with you, bro. Definitely. What you doing right now? What's up? What you doing right now? Well, shit, bro. Fuck it. I will have to fucking keep this up. I right, bet. So, uh, fuck it. How? how <laughs> what are you even in that? Like, what? Like, how? Where? Where did you start? Like, let's start with Young Rory type shit. Young Rory, what you mean? Like you, like. Before you was making music, was you like listening to the music type shit? Like, I mean, like, who was you listening to before you got into making your own type of music type shit? Oh, uh, who was I listening to? Oh, I was listening to Gucci. Gucci? Of course. Uh, Project Pad. Types of and shit, like, right? Yeah, Gucci, man. Project Pad. Uh, definitely Young Dolph. I've been listening to Dolph since like 2010, 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, Doby, Eldorado, Red Cartel, MGM. These some niggas that motherfuckers ain't never heard of. You know what I'm saying? But like I mean, 
Not niggas that be in the background, but like niggas that, you know, not yeah. like the mainstream type shit, you know? Yeah, like Cartel NGM, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Play of Fly, A Ball MJG, Hot Boys. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I listen to the old shit. I ain't never really listened to the shit now today. Like, I ain't really. I feel like the same, like, I feel like the same way. I feel like there'd be a lot of different rappers and shit that, like, you know, not like rappers, but like, People that not in the main the main light yet, but are still putting out hard shit like niggas like you niggas like um a whole bunch of other people that I listen to and shit just like that are doing their own shit you know working and working towards a goal and it's just, like inspirational to see type shit. I mean, that like the same type of shit they be on for you like Gucci Mane and all them niggas. Oh yeah 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 for sure. Oh yeah definitely. But just, yeah. Mhm. Mm just trying to keep it going. That's all. Just. Picking up where they, you know what I'm saying, where they left off it, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly how I feel like, because, you know, like. Hey, I want to say this, I want to say this too, man, because we got a lot of, uh, to, like, right now, like, for instance, you know what I'm saying, you see on Instagram, everybody saying that gun ain't start to pee shit, pee this, pee this. Everything that we do, we young as fuck, bro. We young niggas, yeah. you know what I'm saying? 2022, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You don't think. That something that you would have thought in your mind, you don't think it's been billions of people that have lived on the planet yeah. that thought about this shit? Nothing in original, but like, you know, like, there's definitely you can't credit, credit niggas. You can't credit, you cannot not credit niggas. Like, you know what I mean? Wearing Cartier's, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Weren't doing all that. Dog. None of that shit is young niggas, new shit. You know what, okay. what I'm saying? Wearing the guy weren't soldier rag on my head. That ain't new. That's not something that Robbie just decided to do one day. This shit has been done. Exactly. Over again, you know what I'm saying? Tupac wore bandanas. My beat wore bandanas. Dipset wore bandanas. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z done wore bandana before. DMX. Everybody you can think of. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like, no shit, bro. Like you know what I mean? Song that's hot right now, been sampled to some degree. You know what I'm saying? Like inspired something. by something you already heard. You, you know, know like you're like. So it's like we, ain't, you know what I'm saying? We. We young, bro. Like we young niggas. Like all that old. I started this. I we started this. Y'all stole it, man. Shut the fuck up. Like, like let's just make this shit and just keep it let's, pushing. Like, let's just have you know what I'm saying, crazy. Yeah, let's, let's let's enjoy the new shit. Like, yeah, bro, like it ain't gonna always be something connected, you know. There's some people that know, you know what I'm saying. There's some people that don't know. That's what's the beauty about this shit, you know what I'm saying. Oh God. Yeah, like straight up, you know what I'm saying? Just, just some new shit, you know, like that's that's never been seen before. It's definitely, <laughs> some babies. With phone them just say it on here, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like when I first started wearing this motherfucker, nigga, you try to say, oh, you trying to be like hot boy? You trying to be like two? Yeah. Trying to be like, man, suck my dick? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like shit, you on May for you page, you know, like you you showing up on May shit, so that's man. how you know you this shit, bro. We always gonna have, hey, like, especially if you ain't. I learned this one, you know what I'm saying? First hand. A nigga told me, you know what I'm saying? Mike Will told me, shit, you ain't gonna have, a, you ain't gonna even worry about having to chime in on shit or having an opinion when you get some real money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You start getting, have, get, or not even just getting real money, you just take, start having something about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Some business. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't even worried about that shit. So it's like, if a nigga worried about who started what and created what first and this and that and who wore they shoes this way first and the, <laughs> man, like, <laughs> y'all can't be, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you can't be P. You can't be P, man. Like, like, you can't like, be P. Oh, God. Nah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Really P word like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I know what P mean in my life, you know what I'm saying? P uh -huh. is my rules, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Shout out to the peas, the you know what I'm saying? My my boy peas, you know what I'm saying? I got a, a root, but you know what I'm saying? Like I know a plenty of roosters, you know what I'm saying? I got family that's roosters. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they say P, you know what I'm saying? Instead of saying blood or you know what I'm saying, phone them or whatever, they say P, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, they call me P. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I am P though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like you still put the P in I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. But you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't get mad. I don't be tripping off that shit. The phone them shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody take shit, you know what I'm saying? My daddy a black disciple. If anybody really, really, really want to try me on that phone them word. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, 
we get get that out the way right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, Two, like, what oh, I was born. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah. but well, where I'm from, we from, we from, you know what I'm saying? We on the north side, you know what I'm saying? We from the four block, you know what I'm saying? So shit, like, that's just what it was. We was already, you know what I'm saying? Then you got yeah. a lot of already, you know what I'm saying, on the BD, uh, on the BD train anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, and shit, you got a lot of GDs and you got a lot of BDs and you got a lot of niggas who's coming down here from Chicago starting BD shit down here, mm -hmm. doing all this. So, so it, you know what I'm saying? Now you got, now you got niggas who real deal like bang this shit. You know what I'm saying? So now it's different. So now you incorporate niggas who bloods. You know what I'm saying? We got niggas from this motherfucking fold been a war a St. Louis term since I can remember. You know what I'm saying? When you was in kid when you was growing up, when you was a blood going get in school and shit, you was some type of folk. You know what I'm yeah. saying? saying? Like it that's just what it was. You know what I'm saying? We got right now to this day LA foes. He from St. Louis. He ain't no G D B D nothing. You know what I'm saying? He is straight blood. You know what I'm saying? Oh, from, you know what I'm saying? Like so it's like this is so nobody started nothing like at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. Years in, we want a new type. Cardo, I got you, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, that nigga said we want the new tape. Oh God, we need that. I got you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We putting out a new one. I need a hey. They, they want a Cardo. They want a Cardo Rory. You know what I'm saying? I need one of those <laughs> back motherfucking late June motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh God, my oh, boy. Cardo. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready for all new music, bro. I'm pushing. You know I'm gonna be supporting, bro. And God, no matter. And yeah, bro. I'm I'm glad that you stopped by, bro. Tap tapped in for real. Nah, we go, we 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 putting out new music. We shooting videos. We doing all that shit. Like we, I just be just so, man. I be getting to it, man. I don't be having time to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't be having time to do all that shit. Like, wait, so, but I get on it though. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker had to look me in my eyes. I right, bet I got you. I'm gonna call you when I get off here. I right, bet. Motherfucker got motherfucker get on my ass all the time every day. Like, <laughs> bro, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> You just be just dropping music, thinking, motherfucker, oh, man, you need to drop a video. I'm going to drop a video. Oh, I just yeah. be just... Hey, bro, we definitely need some videos, bro. We need to get some more of your, like, your personality type shit out there, bro. We need to know more about you type shit, you know? Yeah, I just want all my shit to be masterpieces, bro. Uh -huh. All my shit to be, like, be young niggas. I don't want that shit sloppy, though, bro. You know? No, nah, I want nothing sloppy. Like, I want, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I want my shit to be, like, you know what I'm saying? Top tier, like. Oh, God. Like, Fuck is this nigga on garbage? Like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like how did you see it? You know what I'm saying? I just ain't dropped no videos. You know what I'm saying? It just I just let the music speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? You know what it's supposed to do. You know? just speaking. Growing and speaking, bro. But we need those videos, though. We need those videos, man. I'm, I'm ready to see them. My first video I'm probably gonna drop. I don't know. I think I'm gonna drop hot as hell. I already started shooting hot as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like I my video is gonna take like a couple months to shoot. I'm not shooting no bullshit. I ain't shooting you know, real films. What, real. You have some like some skits and shit in the middle. I have everything in this motherfucker. Like you, have, you have a whole movie for one song, bro. The shit gonna be <laughs> hard, bro. I'm doing some real. Shit. I ain't gonna say some shit that ain't nobody ever done, cause I don't know. Cause you know, you never know. know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm gonna do is, or what I'm gonna try to do is bring something different very very left field very very out the box you know what i'm saying i'm trying Something to make new, or at least like refreshing type shit because you know shit gets played out type shit you know people be doing the same shit but at least if you're going to try to like at least have some kind of taste you know you can go back and you know pull some new shit out or some yeah. old shit and then remake it i want to have it to be to where it's like like uh how can i explain it i don't want you to be Cause you got two different things. You got the music you listen to in the car when you ride. You know what I'm saying? Album, Spotify, title, all that shit. Then you got the YouTube when you actually watching the video. I want niggas to actually want to watch the video, not just the uh, song. This is strange. I want. It's a completely different thing, cause I, cause I really watch music videos. Cause when I'm not working and shit, I come home and I, I smoke my weed. You know, I'll be watching the music videos and shit. And it's a real like part that makes me like fuck with the music and more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, if the video ain't right, then the whole fucking shit gonna be fucked up. The whole song, whack. Yeah. Video, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. So it's like, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to just, just game plan. 
a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make this shit hard, though. This shit going to be definitely worth the wait, for sure. What, and then... The new know, resolution, resolution or whatever? Like, just going into this, you know what I mean? Like, for this next year? You just yeah, going... I'm rapping only a year, like a year and a half. I ain't really even been rapping that long. Like, a <laughs> year and a half? Damn. Yeah, I ain't really ever, like... Then I tell niggas this, too. I'm on my journey, like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Exactly how I feel, bro. I feel like you know, I be working out here every day. I don't, you know, I ain't got much, but I, I be making my shit work type shit, you know? And I'm a, I mean, it's shit going, it's shit growing and it's shit going to keep growing. That's all I know. You know what I mean? You got, Like I said, like, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on my journey. Like I watch, I watch, uh, future. I watch all these niggas, especially Gucci though. You know what I'm saying? Like I watch this nigga. I listen, it ain't a song that can't nobody play right now. Like any, you can play a song, any clip of a song, and be like, "What song is this from Gucci?" Like, yeah, it ain't not one they, song that uh, I ain't gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna know the beat. I'm gonna know all. Yeah. I'm gonna know who made the beat. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's right. what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm on my journey of that. Like, I've been, I've watched niggas put out hundreds of tapes and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm only on my fifth tape, and I ain't did, you know what I'm saying, really nothing for yeah. real, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, sold into these one and two tapes that don't be really going nowhere. Oh, nothing. And, and, you, and you got, and you got niggas fucking with you off of these five tapes that haven't even had no videos yet, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, some, some real support type shit. Man, I'm putting this shit out. I'm putting it on steady dropping. Metal Doing it the right way, bro. I feel like, because, like, I, I see a whole bunch of people talking because I watch a whole bunch of interviews and these niggas they be like, uh, the faster you go up, the the faster you fall down type shit. Like you know, like the slower you go up, the bigger the foundation you have type shit. The stronger. Right. The yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's, that's it. It could be right in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, no. I'm not saying like you know take your you don't you don't want to be like slow, but if it's no, bad, no, no, no. You saying yeah. I'm saying like on another tip too though, like. Shit, you just never know with this shit, man. Sometimes this shit just be, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and then for, that's just from their perspective. Shit, it might look like a nigga blew up. It might look like I blew up overnight. Man, I yeah. done been this shit since I was like 14. Like, on the, you know what I'm saying? My first platinum record I had, I was like 16, 17. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you, like, mind, you mind dropping? You mind, you mind getting me hit, bro? Like, with who? Like, what? Uh, we gonna get we gonna get all that you know what I'm saying I, we, uh, I don't even feel like <laughs> talking about all that shit because it's gonna have to well how did you get from there to you know I don't want to yeah but yeah nigga like I've been doing this shit you know what I'm saying like yeah. I've been doing it. yeah nobody can no nobody would just know that on the you know what I'm saying just looking at the surface mm -hmm. and like you gotta dig a little deep you know nah but that's the hardest shit though I ain't, I ain't never even knew that and it's exactly what you just say you gotta dig a little deeper you know. Yeah, you got to see you got to go niggas and you know what I'm saying, figure shit out. I don't, what do. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with niggas who <clears throat> blow up overnight or whatever, you know, that means. I really good. Yeah, but I feel like having your own fan base is the only thing that matters now. We in the world of you got to go to Walmart to go buy somebody's CD. You ain't got to go to the record store <laughs> to buy. Body record. You ain't got to look at the cover of the motherfucker and guess that this motherfucker going to be tight because they yeah. got traffic. Because you, know? you, like, you can look at it all up on the internet and shit. Exactly. Now you can you can listen to it. You can basically hear the motherfucker. You can do everything. You can hear everything you want to You can hear. basically live with the motherfucker if you got a vlog. If, if the nigga got a vlog with him every day. <laughs> like, shit. You basically with the nigga. So shit is like shit totally different now. Totally different ball game. So... I'm definitely going to do more with my part as an artist. I'm just so focused at making records and making sure that everything that I touch go platinum. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Out of here, like, I just, I be trying to, I don't know. I be just, I'm, I'm trying to make this trap shit, like, worldwide. Like, mm -hmm. stop the world. As we did, we just stopped. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to keep stopping the world. Like, I don't like a lot of shit that be, you know, some niggas be listening to and shit like that. I ain't going to lie to you. That's just. Shit, a lot of filler shit. It'd be like a lot of like all the same sound and shit. Um, that boring, you know what I mean? I like all that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Just me personally. So me bringing back the music that I listened to when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's new shit on it? 
interests yeah. you? What what made you interested? Type shit. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's got some new shit on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> doing it for the real trap boys. Straight oh, up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like. And that's, yeah. That's, that's yeah. And who make the beats and shit like how I make. You know what I'm saying? Like, every nigga I fuck with on these beats and shit like this, this trap shit, this trap sound, they all got placements last year. Yeah. You know what I'm and they, some of them still gonna get placements this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how this shit go. Like, I want everybody to, you know what I'm saying? We all eating, we all winning. We come in the game, like, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't gotta be signed to Rory to get some money with Rory. Yeah. I get money. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, get money. There's Dude. enough for everybody to eat. You don't gotta be stingy with this shit, bro. No, but like, you know what I'm saying? We all just gotta just keep it going. We all gotta just, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that we stay focused, one. You know what I'm saying? We all gotta make sure that we stay focused. And keep pushing, too, and, and do what you gotta do, you know? Make sure this shit get done. Like, yeah, yeah, so it's like, we gotta make sure we stay focused. Like, reason why I say that and I'm stressing that, I know that might sound crazy in that space, but like, we gotta stay focused because shit, it sounds good. Nigga talk it up. You know what I'm saying like how we doing now, you can be motivated, yeah. all right. And it's a whole different ball game to keep it going when we ain't doing this. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So like you gotta just stay motivated, stay inspired, stay focused, keep doing whatever the fuck you doing. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like just go, don't go at nobody else's pace. You know what I'm saying? Like that's another thing I had to learn. I used to try to go at other nigga paces and shit. Like mm -hmm. damn. Fuck, like these niggas did I'm not up there like how they are. And did this so damn this nigga that went number one or such and such such and such damn I need to man, you ain't gotta you gotta just let that shit be. Okay. You know? like, like, your own story, make your own story, you know? I'm from them. So it's like you just gotta just let that shit just be what it is. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta just move at your own pace, like man, sometimes I'll be having to like just slow down, like hold on, like <laughs> Let's chill for a second. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be like, what the fuck, bro? Bro, bro, because, like, shit, bro, because, yeah, you know, you don't want to move wrong. Nah, bro, I'll play. I mean, like, I mean, if you do, it's okay, but, you know, like, you don't want to do it, you know, going too crazy type shit. Oh, uh, you don't want to be, what, you know what I call that? I call that running in place. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> going fast. You know what I'm saying? You remember you be in gym, they make you run in place. Yeah. Get and shit. Yeah, nigga, that's what niggas be doing. Me doing a whole lot of moves and a whole lot of energy, you know what I'm saying? But you, look at this, look at all this shit. It look like I'm running fast as fuck. <laughs> now, sitting down in the chair, fuck. I'm still in the same spot, you know what I'm saying? Like, like going nowhere fast, a whole lot of energy, just going away, just down the drain, you know what I'm saying? Like, all to be doing, saying all of this shit, doing all this shit, causing all this commotion. Nobody's gonna care in two days. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Two days, nobody gonna even know what the fuck you was talking about, bro. Like, nigga gonna be like, "What the fuck was dude?" Talk you know what I'm saying? Nobody, mm -hmm. do like, it's like so. It's like the shit niggas do for attention be crazy because the shit the attention be and so it, for one second, bro. We literally in uh, we we on the internet. You can't give no more. Like it's like, only one second. A span of squirrels now. Even me, shit, like. Oh, bro, God. Man, if I wasn't on here talking to you, I would have lost this blunt ten times. <laughs> I'd been looking for what my phone is. What my, you know what I'm saying? What been doing nothing? Checking Instagram for nothing, you know? Like, and it's just like we much rather do that than watch like you know, yeah, type shit. So like, then learn, like, read a fucking book, yeah. you know what I'm saying? like shit. Like, we gotta get on top of all that shit. Like this shit real, you know what I'm saying? Like. You gotta put your, put in this shit into your body. Whether that's it ain't just food, nigga. You gotta read, learn some shit, listen to some shit. And that's know? why podcast, bro. Every time because you know I've been working too. Niggas, niggas come up to me talking, and I always say, bro, the podcast. It'd be like damn, near these niggas' stories, like how they got up, how they did what they did. You can learn from that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. you can imagine yourself into those situations. You never really know, type shit. Yeah, you're right. You're definitely right about that shit. Like, because everybody's situation different, bro. Like, I'm not living the same life as you, bro. You know, like, so like, you know, everybody get, I gotta figure it out somehow. Shit, you know, I'm, got, you know, I gotta help everybody get that uh, figured out type shit.
No, nah, but it, it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Still living life. You see what I'm saying? Like, Huncho, what up, fuck? You know what I'm saying? That's my boy from New Orleans. You know, Seven War War here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like. You said you was all the way up from, from you said New Orleans? I'm from St. Louis. No. Nah. Man, like, New Orleans and St. Louis just connected. Like, mm-hmm. but like, it's just like shit. Yeah, I don't really know the real, real deal history, which I really, really need to know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How, how, like it has something to do with the Louisiana Purchase. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of our streets and a lot of our bills and just city, inner city names and shit, it's like New Orleans culture. You know what I'm saying? Like everything. Like they got shit down. They got a cemetery down there, a big ass cemetery down there named the St. Louis Cemetery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the same logos, all that shit. So it's like, so I got to I gotta get down into the I got to figure out the history on that for real. I don't know. I don't really know for real, but I feel like that's what they got something to do with. That's the only thing that can make sense to me. Oh god. All this French shit up here. Right. But yeah. Nah, that's fucking crazy. I never thought I would be talking to you right now. That's- How did you ever start making the type of beats you do? Oh. Shouty Red D Rich. Oh, uh, really? I I'll tell you what. I tell you what. My daddy make beats. I'm saying my daddy make beats my whole life. You know what I'm saying? My daddy used to, you know, work with Soldier Slam and a bunch of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like just a bunch of niggas. You moving around and you know what I'm saying? So like, uh, long story short, when we was kids, me and my little brother and shit used to just make us make beats like like a chore. Like, all right, the nigga put turn the game off. It's time to make some beats. Like, that's like, kind of hard. <laughs> Fuck, you know what I'm saying? So like, I you was, so you was so you was hating on doing beats. You was like, fuck. Nah, cause you know I'm a kid. I think everybody daddy make beats and. Oh okay. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that there's just some shit that my daddy do and he trying to make. You know, I'm thinking that. So, shit like we he had a, a Triton, an 88 key. Still got it to this day. You know what I'm saying? 88 key Triton. You know. What I'm saying? And I go there, we go down there, we had to make beats, different tempos, different instruments, different drums. It couldn't have the same shit. So you, you know what I'm learn, saying? Like, all of like, the bass. Damn, nigga, like, what the fuck? Nigga, like, I'm a kid, bro. I'm going to go ride a bike. Like, nigga, go, you know what I'm saying? Like, like nigga, I want to be Spider-Man. You got to be over here playing Master P. Man, bro, I'm eight, nine, <laughs> beats, you know? Still. But was, was any of them hard, though? Was he fucking with that in the future? <laughs> I don't my hard beat till I was in like the like fourth grade, third grade, some shit like that. Like something that I actually remember. I remember how it had a horn in it and everything. I remember that shit. Was you rapping then still or not? Oh, he taught us how to rap when we was in like middle school. Like we was listening to Boosie and Webby and shit. And he was like, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all niggas need to rap. You know what I'm saying? Look at these niggas. They 16, 17. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, y'all need to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to start rapping. He helped my little brother with his raps and made me write my own shit. So my shit wasn't as hard as my little brother's shit to everybody else. <laughs> I don't know that I'm writing my own fucking raps. And this nigga got my fucking daddy helping him with his raps. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like he need to make beats and he need to be the rapper. Like, man, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't write. But did that push you, though? Did that push you, though? What'd you say? Did that push you? I ain't care about rapping. I ain't <laughs> give a fuck about rapping for real. Like, I never really wanted to be a rapper. I never wanted to make beats for real. I ain't gonna lie to you, tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? I was wrestling and shit. I thought I was gonna be playing football or some shit. And then my daddy went to prison. Like, mm-hmm. my daddy went back to prison, bro. Like, my whole life got just, like, ex- extremely real. Like, my daddy went to the feds. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, he ain't go to no state or no county jail or no shit like that. That nigga was in the feds. So it was like, it was totally different. Like, I don't know if this nigga ever coming home type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so shit, I just know, like, at that point in, in that point in time, like, all right, I'm a man now. Like, whatever I got to do, I got to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? My mama can't do what I, what, one, she don't understand what, I'm trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, she don't understand. She think this is me just trying to be like my daddy, you know what I'm saying? So, I was good. I was doing all this shit. Yeah, I won three state championships in wrestling. I won two in Georgia. I won one in Missouri. Three state championships. My first year in wrestling, I lost every match. You know what I'm saying? Every 
I lost every match. My first year of wrestling, I lost every match. I didn't win shit. It, I was so discouraged, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, like, I fucking suck. That's what I used to say to myself every day. Like, I fucking suck, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas slamming. Bro, I lost to a girl, bro. I lost to a girl my first year of wrestling, bro. Man. Bro. And here I come. And here I am thinking to myself, like, damn, I, damn, I don't want to just be extra, you know, slamming up and be, you know, trying to win and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a girl. Man, she was the one of the toughest motherfuckers I ever wrestled. Like, straight up. Like, she was cold. You know what I'm saying? So, but this shit, so long story short, shit, like, I just, like, I just went crazy. I just just got went like on. I just just start doing burpees and shit every day. I was be piling and shit. I was running with trash bags on through the neighborhoods and shit. Oh, nah, this man was yeah, really bro, like I I went to I went I just went extreme, bro. Like motherfucker ain't finna beat me this year, bro. Like ain't nobody finna beat me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I lost one match my second year of wrestling. You know what I'm saying? But I won state though. You know what I'm saying? My, Third year wrestling, I won state. My fourth year wrestling, I won state. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't wrestled my senior year. You know what I'm saying? I wrestled. Like, I, I wrestled. But, uh, but when you said your dad went away, did you, um? so was your first option just to go directly into, like, doing the beats, or was it, like, something else? No. Uh, I started doing beats and shit. Uh, like, on some, like, heavy shit. Uh, it was a nigga... In Atlanta, all right, I was fucking with this girl, which is crazy. This girl, mm -hmm. she uh, she knew a lot of rap niggas and shit in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like just hella rap shit. And I made beats playing around. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's you know I always still you know kept it with me. So I'm making beats and shit on Fruity Loops and shit. And motherfuckers used to just come over and just be over there while I was making beats and shit. Like it just wasn't nothing for real. Like it's a normal type shit, yeah. Like basically, like you know, oh my 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 homeboy he, he you know what I'm saying he rapping this and that blah blah. blah. You just email him a beat and I'm like, all right, bet. Like I don't think in my mind we gonna make no money and do none of this shit. I don't know none of this shit. This shit they had an internet. I guess this one like internet radio stations start first coming out and all that shit. So the niggas they played our song or played his song on the radio station. What, produced by you type shit. Yeah, like my first oh. like ever. Like I'm like damn. Like, okay, shit, this shit tight. Like. And this is back, um, back in uh, where, where again? My bad. Atlanta. We was in Atlanta. I moved to Atlanta in eighth grade. You know what I'm saying? Like, we moved to, or seventh grade, I moved to Atlanta. Okay. Uh, We moved back to St. Louis my sophomore year. At the no, year when my daddy got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Or no, it was my sophomore year. So, okay. Uh, I so, got locked up. So, went to Atlanta, and then sophomore year, your, your, your dad went away? Yeah, and then, then we moved back to St. Louis and shit. Okay. And then, so that's where you at now type shit? Is that where you, you based, or are you in? No. Oh, yeah, L.A. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, okay. So yeah. this this hella shit that happened, bro. Oh, but yeah, I'm from St. Louis, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, like. Oh, that's cool. So you've been all over type shit. That, no, that's good. Yeah. So how, huh? How was Atlanta? Like, what happened up out, out in Atlanta? Oh... Uh. I met Walker, I met Slim Duncan. I met Slim Duncan first. And that's how I met Walker and Gucci and all them niggas and shit like that. And I used to be around them niggas, Tropaholics. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing them since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. 2004. 2010, 2011. Okay. You know like, so, yeah, like I've been knowing them since I was a kid. Just, you know what I'm saying? Going to the studio. With dunk and shit, not really supposed to be in the studio, you know what I'm saying, making little beats and shit with Southside and Lakes. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas taught me hella shit, like hella, hella shit, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like like I'm so far like from that shit, cause like making them beat like I can make them beats without even listening to it, like yeah. real shit. Like So you so you think that you making a different type of beat than what you was making about? Definitely, I like I never thought that you know using the keyboard and all that shit was needed. Like I thought that shit was just like some old nigga shit. And you know what I'm saying? Then I met Beast by the Pound and shit. Like like Master P producers. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the No Limit producers. They produced everything on No Limit coming out of that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And KLC and all these niggas. These were my daddy partners and shit. My daddy locked up in prison and they looking out for me. You know what I'm saying? Because they know I'm using them. I can't hear you. I said they was fucking with you. Can oh, you yeah, yeah, 
yeah, they was fucking with me. So so they start giving me machines and drum pads and keyboards and shit. So I started learning how to do that shit. And then my uncle, my mama brother, my, my real deal uncle, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, the second closest thing to my daddy, he was on my ass, you know what I'm saying? He bought me a MacBook, got me a machine. I was over there every day making beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, learning how to actually, like, play keys and do this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because he was just saying, like, like my family E5, you know what I'm saying? So he was telling me, like, when you actually hitting this shit, hitting these drums and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, you know what I'm saying? That's the eye shape. If you know what that is, then you know what that is. I ain't even explain it on here, you know what I'm saying? But so he's like, that's the eye shape. Like, so basically, like, like it's power in me, like, actually playing this shit and hitting this shit for, versus me. Oh, like, just, so like, you, like, at, like hitting yeah. it, you doing type shit, like, like, yeah, you know, these, I, I was playing these keys for real, like, it's power in that versus just clicking it. You know how they tell you, like, oh, you got a goal or something, write it down? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's different. It's a different power when you write that shit down versus you just want to do it and just think yeah, about it. I feel like I first noticed that when I had joined your live and I had seen you doing it live and I was like, this nigga really into it. Like, I ain't never seen no, no nigga look at a computer and be like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, for real. You got to, like, really be. So I, yeah, I, know, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, so I be hitting them shits. I be hitting them pads. I be hitting them. You know, I be playing them notes. You know what I'm saying? I be, you know what I'm saying? So that's what really got me into it. Uh, really start doing music shit. My daddy went to jail. You know what I'm saying? It was like, damn, like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? So I, cause, cause what happened with that? And then I met Duncan Walker and all these different niggas, and now I'm working with Future and all this shit, nigga. This just was crazy. Then I met Bank. I met Bankroll. I was I pulled up the street as X and uh Young Dolph got an artist signed to him or had an artist signed to him named uh Jay Fizzle. I pull up the street as X, I'm a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm like 17, 18, you know what I'm saying? Like uh I I pull up I I, I used to just book sessions at like the most popular studios in Atlanta, like wherever it was, like I'm just booking a the session there, you know what I'm saying? So I go down to Atlanta State, go to like for breaks, spring break, this and that, summer, whatever, whatever I can do. You know what I'm saying? And just be in Atlanta just as much as I could, just to keep Put your name out there type shit. Yeah, so I'll be in Street is X and different studios and I'll be just I'll just play beats hella loud with the door open. You know what I'm saying? I'm smoking weed, so you smell weed coming out this motherfucker. Yeah. So these like beats? Huh? These are like you make it now or like older type beats? Mm, they, they getting there. They getting there. You know what I'm saying? Cause they really. I started doing this when I made bankroll. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, long story short, uh, yeah, yeah, they getting there. I can't really even describe myself. And niggas would say it was. I guess niggas would say it was the same. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah, cause I mean, I know you have a different ear because you're the. It's you're the me. It's, it's me. Yeah. But, Yes, yeah, yeah. All right. I I guess you can say it was the same. Yeah, all right. So, or so, is it more to what you have out now, or is it closer to what you had when you was working with? Closer to now, for sure. But I don't. I, I just to me, it, it just sounds cheesy to me now. If I go, because of course you know you could you you'd be like yeah I could have fixed some shit up or just whatever the fuck. But so like I met Bank yeah. going to Jay Fizzle. Uh, I was I had a set. No, no, no. Jay Fizzle came in and asked me if I had a backwood. Like nigga walked in like, damn, you, you got a backwood? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, hell yeah, yeah, nigga. Like I got boxes of these bitches on the table. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this one, niggas weren't doing that shit. Niggas weren't buying boxes of backwoods. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure somebody somewhere else in the world probably had bought a box of backwoods before. Yeah. I, yeah. You know what I'm but, but in this me, instance, you had it. You had nigga, it. <laughs> 18 niggas ain't doing that, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't even know how to roll backwards my age, you know what I'm saying? Like, let alone everybody was smoking switches telling me I was tripping, like, so, uh, and Dutchess and shit. Matter of fact, I don't even think niggas was smoking Dutchess then. I think niggas start smoking Dutchess after backwood. Like, I think it was on switches, like, niggas was just smoking switches, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, long story short, nigga Jay Fields was coming out, like, damn, uh, you got a backwood, bro? Mm hmm. Yeah, right, like shit, grab you a pack. I don't I don't wanna know. He's like, how much for that shit? I'm just like, nigga, like go ahead on. I'm so you know what I'm saying? Like so confident in the music listening to my beat, nigga, like 
He like, nigga, I'm like, nigga, grab a pack, nigga. We smoking in this bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, hurry up. Like, man, you and this motherfucker. <laughs> Man, nah, he said you and this motherfucker piped up. Like, back then, that's when niggas used to say piped up. Like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Y'all niggas was talking about. <laughs> I swear like, to God, piped up. That was like, that was like some Atlanta lingo. Like, niggas was saying piped up. Like, that's what he told me. He's like, you and her piped up. Like, damn. Like, piped up mean turn. Piped up mean you got, you got a thump on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, piped up just mean, like, you just on some, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just on some whole other shit. Like, yeah. just, you got a backwood. Like, I'm like, yeah, grab a pack. He's like, man, shit. He's like, this your beat? You make beats? I'm like, yeah. Like, he's like, damn, Dolph in the other room. Uh, he getting a haircut right now, but shit, he needs some beats for his for his session. He needs to just pull up. So I'm just like, all right, I'll go over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even tripping off Dolph or nothing, man. I'm in this motherfucker, man. Do you hear this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. what I'm like. So I finally get my shit. I go over there. You know what I'm saying? Dolph ain't in the room. Dolph still getting his haircut. Bankroll in the room. You know what I'm saying? So I go in there, but he young fresh at the time. He ain't bankroll fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so I go in there, you know what I'm saying? We get to talk, chopping it up and shit. And I, I get to like, nigga, I know exactly who you is, nigga. Like, I've been knowing, nigga, you shit. Nigga, you used to be at Zay Crib, nigga, just in the basement rapping and shit. Nigga, you was on EA Sports Center with Google. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking to him like this, and he like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, shit, let me hear some beats then, young nigga. You know what I'm saying? It, shit, we, at that point, we start jamming, like, so we jamming a few days in, and uh, they get they, I get to the studio uh, a little early and shit. And we sitting outside the studio before they come let us in. They listening to Soldier Slim outside the car. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is my uncle, nigga. Oh, oh, so they, okay. And niggas looking at me like this your uncle? Like man, get the fuck out of here, like nigga. I'm like, bro, this my uncle, nigga. This my daddy, best friend, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, my daddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting naming the tracks. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nigga, like when I was like seven years old, six years old. Matter of fact, it had to be when I was seven or six because this was the last time I saw the nigga. The last time I saw Soldier Slim, nigga, we was going to a daycare down the street from the elementary school I was going to. I was in. That's like you said daycare. I was like, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, that's yeah. I, did. I was in like first grade or you can't. Oh, you know what I'm saying like uh, yeah, so I had to be in the first grade, second grade. Like your parents, like your parents definitely together. I mean, like connected type shit. You know what I mean? Like, huh? I said your family definitely connected type shit. No, they wasn't. Uh, my mom and my daddy weren't together at this time. I'm talking about like um, like the uh, slip. Sl oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So long story short, so um, uh, my mama worked for people that's from St. Louis. They know she worked in St. Charles. That's far from here you know what i'm saying well from st. Louis, like so like if you from if you in st louis you go like st charles that's a whole nother like you know what i'm saying life like any type shit you them folks out there it ain't even no reason for us to go out there yeah. so out there you know what i'm saying and i'm all the way out here in, uh like hazelwood or whatever so she uh me my little brother my little sister we had the daycare so she was gonna come and get us at like when she got off at six you know what i'm saying but it's like Four o'clock. Matter of fact, nah. It had to be later than that because it was dark outside when my daddy got there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Long story short, the, the house next, this is a daycare in the house. You know what I'm saying? The house next door, motherfucker uh, knocked over a candle and shit and caught the whole house on fire. The whole house, nigga, in flames, nigga. Like, this some crazy shit to see as a kid, bro. Like, I remember the whole fucking house, nigga. The house. Did they die? Huh? Did they die? No, they did not, but I remember we standing outside waiting on my daddy to pull up and the ambulance in there trying to get the little boy out. It was a little boy in there. They not letting the mama run in there, none of that shit, nigga. I'm looking at this shit like, well, what the fuck? Bro, you can, it was cold outside. You can feel the heat. I don't even remember what time of the year this was, but I remember it was cold as fuck like, outside. You tell the difference. What Bro, the, the nigga... Oh, the fire, the fire department people, they like, everybody get back, get back, get back. And then all I heard was, woo, like, like it was this big ass, like loud ass wind sound. Like, like I guess it might have been just wind, but the wind blew the fire so far. Like, the fire got hella close. Like, oh, oh. man, that shit was like crazy. It kind of blew up again. It kind of blew up type shit. Yeah, like it just, like it didn't blow up, but you heard some shit in there blow up though. And the fire department, they finally got the little dude out. But my daddy pulled up. My daddy pulled up. He was like, man, what the fuck? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, so we left. We pulled up to the studio. Soldier Slim and the <laughs> to the studio. Because <laughs> my dad was uh, at the studio. He left the studio to go pick us up. He didn't uh -huh. have and We had weeks and shit. One week with our daddy, one week with our mama. This wasn't even his week. You know what I'm saying? But she couldn't pick us up. You know what I'm saying? Cause she had work. In the other place, right? She's still at work. Yeah. So my daddy had to go get us. He closer. You know what I'm saying? So he pick us up. We go we go straight back to the studio and shit. <laughs> just and like that. Just like that. It's and a you... song called If uh If It Ain't Real. You know what I'm saying? My daddy made that beat. You know what I'm saying? Like what they they was making my daddy was making that beat when when I walked into when we walked into the studio, the beat was still looped. Like he oh, like like not even like done type shit. Yeah, he ain't finished making the beat. The shit was just still playing. You know what I'm saying? With the metronome like shit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I wasn't even playing with the metronome. It was just playing, like, just still playing. But you know what I'm saying? Like, and if y'all listen to that beat, y'all understand why I use all the instruments I use. I use everything that my dad used to use. Wait, wait, wait what's it? What's it called again? Because I'm about to pull it up real quick. If it ain't real, Soldier Slim. Real. Featuring twelve o'clock. Twelve. Write this shit down. If it ain't real, Soldier Slim. Yeah, both of them niggas did. Long live them. You know what I'm saying? Cutthroat committee. I'm going to get that tatted on my neck. For sure. No, nah, I'm definitely you know? about to say, bro. Nah, but, uh, well, fuck it. What was I about to say? Uh, well, fuck it. How did you, uh, how did you get tapped in with, uh, with, like, your more, fu like, future stuff? Like, you know, like, what you doing now? Oh, shit. I just became, like, a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I just I just just turned up, you know what I'm saying? As a young nigga, a lot of niggas had respect for me and shit. So when I used to just pull up to certain places, and niggas would fuck with me and shit. So like, uh, it's a nigga named P Nasty. P Nasty is the, he started air drummers with Mike Will. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I used to talk to him and shit on Twitter and shit when I was a young nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At this point in my life, you know what I'm saying? Shit like, uh, I'm down in Atlanta visiting family and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I have been living, I moved back to St. Louis and shit. So I'm down back in Atlanta after living in Atlanta for the second time. I'm back yeah. in St. Louis now, but I'm visiting at this point. My boy Chase the Money was down there. He wanted to go to the studio and shit. He asked if I could take, give him a ride to the studio. Cause I'm down, I drove down there. I got a car and shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, my nigga, I'll definitely take you to the studio. He was like, he got a session with Mike Will and P Nasty. I know who P Nasty is. I definitely know who Mike Will is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. no, Mike Will. Is you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. well, yeah. yeah. I'm like, all right, all right, bet that's hard. I, why wouldn't I take my nigga to the studio for his, you know what I'm saying? He got a session with Mike Will and shit. All right, bet. So we go to the studio. He did not have a session with Mike Will or P Nasty. He did not have a session with these niggas. He just seen them at the studio the day before and said it and met them and was cool enough to know <laughs> seen them again the day they wouldn't turn them away. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know this until years later, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. But anyway, so we pull it to the studio and shit. We sit outside the studio. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? They finna come open up the door. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah. So he in his phone acting like he got somebody coming to the door and shit. And then Pete Nasty come out the door to smoke a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? And that was like his, all right, man, let's walk in. Like, Oh, so, so bro was fronting. I don't know this, though. <laughs> I, it looked like the nigga came and opened up the door for him. Yeah. You know what I'm so, saying? It until he made it, type shit. So that nigga, so yeah, he said, uh -huh. if it ain't real by Slim, that, shit, that bitch hard. Yeah, I'm fucking him. I'm nigga, I get in the studio and making that song. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was crazy. I was, man, like, mm -hmm. I don't I remember that shit. I remember everything about it. I was eating Skittles, nigga, the sour kind. You know what I'm saying? I was in that motherfucker's shit. I was breaking shit. You know what I'm saying? They they had like a little, like a little bench press. Uh, like a little bench press, uh, thing to work out with. Yeah, like like the look, the one you lay down on the, you know, bench. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I think that that is a bench press. Type. Yeah, but they had the little the little seat or whatever. So I'm sitting on the seat and it's a dumbbell like right below me. And this how little I am, nigga. This how little I am. Did I try to reach down and pick the motherfucker up and I fell over? Oh, you know? Wait, what's going on? You know what I'm talking about? Like a dumbbell? <laughs> or, or what? I don't know if it's called a dumbbell or what. The one that you curl with, like this, the little small ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is a dumbbell. Dumbbell, yeah, dumbbell. I don't nigga, be working I, out either, nigga. <laughs> I shit. got that motherfucker up off the ground, nigga, and I fell over. That's how little I was. <laughs> yeah.
Like I start remember that shit. Like I remember everything about that night. You know what I'm saying? That was that was like eighteen. That Eight. Happened? Was that eighteen or like seventeen? Nigga, I was like seven years old. Oh, six. Seven, oh, my my dumb ass, bro. I had this whole situation, bro. My bad, bro. Fuck well, no. Nah, I was a little kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it ain't real, I don't even know when that song came out. That shit came out like two thousand three. You know what I'm saying? I'm dating myself, bro. I was just born, my man. Uh, my bad. Yeah. Nah, but no, nah, I'm definitely down for the story, though. You know what I mean? Like, I fuck with, I, like, I'm definitely about to go do my homework type shit. Like, yeah. I fuck, fuck with the shit. I gotta go check, listen to this song. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely want that. Pretty short, like, nigga, me and Bank, you know what I'm saying? We, we start making music, you know what I'm saying, around that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I met D Rich, and D Rich gave me everything he had, and I met DJ Plug and all these different niggas who fucked with what I was doing and shit. And shit, that's just, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? And Bank died. Uh, Bank died. And, uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. Bank died 13 days before my son was born. Rest in peace, bro. I'm sorry for the loss, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. It's a. Uh, yeah, I don't need, like talking about him being dead, like, but yeah. So uh, since after that, you know what I'm saying, I uh, I ain't never really have nobody like uh, damn man. Yeah. Well, what good? I ain't had nobody like you know what I'm saying, rap on my beats and shit like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and uh, I just it just was just like I was just making beats, making beats for years. I ain't had nobody to rap on them type of beats. And I ain't really want to stop making them beats. I never wanted to stop making them beats because I ain't want the sound to die with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't want the sound to die with Bank. Like, like he died and everything just died. Like, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? So I just kept making these beats, even though niggas wouldn't rap on them, didn't know how to rap on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just kept doing it, like just kept doing it. And uh I met Sway and shit through P Nasty after going, you know what I'm saying, fuck with P Nasty for a while after I met him and shit. And um I went to LA for my birthday, they was already out there. I pulled up on them niggas at Sway House and shit. Sway ain't let me leave. And uh I knew how to make other beats and shit at this time, so I'm playing him more type of shit, his speed. Mm -hmm. I accidentally played a trap beat. Mm -hmm. I accidentally played one. He was like, man, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Something crazy. Like, something like, yeah. Bro, play, go back to that shit. I'm like, oh, no, nah, you probably ain't going to like this. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nigga, play that shit. Like, play that. I played it and that shit. We did that shit. That was a song we had called Tokyo. That shit was hard. That was my first time getting a, a nigga like this nigga international. This is a pop star at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this, this is after Mannequin Challenge and all that shit? Yeah, this way after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, funny. Damn, I done got this nigga to rap on these beats. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm turk. Then it just start happening. Like, this random nigga, Rich the Kid, come over to the house. I done gave him some beats. He's doing this. I'm, now I'm working with Rich the Kid. I'm working with uh, Big Baby Drum, Made Tokyo, uh, YG, Travis Scott, all these different niggas. <laughs> like, okay. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, number one album. Shout out my boy right here. My boy didn't been with me through this shit, through all this shit. Silk right. song. You know what I'm saying? But like, man, so like, I now I, I got all these different niggas rapping on my beats and shit now. On the beats that, I, you know what I'm saying? Bank was rapping on. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I feel like, all right, cool. This shit ain't just die with, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. Nah. Bro, that's fucking fire. So you saw, so like all the beats that you be putting out with the music that you be making, like the ones that you be going over, those are the type beats that he would have that he would have been going on. Yeah, you ain't never listened to Bankroll Fresh before? Nah, I'm not I'm not I'm not even tapped in, bro. Damn, bro, you gotta go tap in the Bankroll Fresh. You will understand everything about me. You go listen to Bankroll Fresh. We gonna listen to three songs. Nigga, you understand everything about me. Song recommendations like I should go straight to? Man, uh, ESPN. Yes, Al Pima Bima. Alapima. Al Pima. Al Pima. Popping shit. Pop oh. Shit. Uh, that's what's going on. 
You know what I'm saying? Seventeen. They they gonna tell you right here. They telling you right. Here. Look at what. It's a Grammys. Oh, I ain't gotta say shit. My boy, music. I mean, yeah. Hey, like. How y'all tapping me in now, bro? Yeah, Al. Yeah, Al Pena Beamer. What they say? They said in. The, oh, okay. Thank you, cause I ain't know how to spell that, bro. I was actually kind of struggling. I ain't gonna catch you. Man, bro, you just gotta just yeah, bro. You gotta just go to just tap in. Really, you need to listen to every song he made. Like you just need to just oh, take like three months. That's what, that's what I do when I find a new artist. I do a whole deep dive type shit. That's what and you I, need to do. You need to do a deep dive. You need to just go listen to him. You know what, Racky Stacky, Racky yeah. Stacky, Racky Stacky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, I remade that song. That's his song. Oh, that's it. His song. He has a song called Rack and Stacking that I remade. Yes, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's a bank song. Like that, bro. That is that. That is crazy. That's some knowledge right there. I mean, like, yo, that is fucking crazy. I need to fucking tap in, bro. I'm ready to fucking go listen to that shit, bro. Okay. Yeah, you understand? If you listen to Bankroll Fresh and you see his impact, and you know what I'm saying, Bankroll still got billboards in Atlanta right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got documentaries too. Yeah, documentaries. You know. What? Come on, man. Like, little bankroll PJ, you know what I'm saying? My little nephew, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, boy, we, man, we, man, come on, man. This street money shit, like, this shit, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Bootsy, my nigga Quick Trip, nigga. My nigga D Rich. Keeping this shit going, my nigga Red, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this shit different, bro. I'm telling you, like, bro. Man, so long as I don't need like talking about my nigga being dead, bro. Like, long story short, just you listen, know. What I'm saying? But listen, if you ain't never speak on him, I would've never know, and his name would've. I mean, you know, like. Yeah, but I don't like talking about him dead though. Like, I just. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hate that shit, bro. Like, I straight hate that he did, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I, bro. Like. Honestly. Any anyway, but long story short, so after he died, I ain't you know now I got niggas rapping on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh. Fast forward, uh, I meet Chief Keith. Mike called me to the studio and shit. I'm at the studio. I pull up. They talking about Walker and how uh, Chief Keith will walk a Walker Flocker baby. Mm -hmm. And then this and that and all this shit. And I'm like chiming in, like giving my two cents on how I found out about Chief Keith. Like, no, nah, he ain't a Walker Flocker baby. They worked with Walker. They mm -hmm. came from Atlanta. They... You know what I'm saying? They did some music with Walker shit. They stayed at the house and shit for a week or two. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, but no, for them his own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know that this nigga on the way to the studio. So what, so what were they like mistaking him like to be like? Uh, you know, people got different perspectives of yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's their perspective. They know Walker Flocker. The closest thing to walk to Walker Flocker anybody. Yeah. Keep, you know what I'm saying? It's like an but, umbrella. He a whole different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's definitely love and all that shit, but I uh, follow him his own, you know. So anyway, fast forward. So I'm in there talking about that shit. The nigga walk in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Him, Tato, Ball. Oh, damn. All three of them in there, like, shit. All the other niggas behind, you know what I'm saying? So shit, then nigga Mike was just like, hey, play some beats. Just play some beats. So he hollering at them. They ain't say shit to nobody. They just walked in there, just walked over straight to Mike. You know what I'm saying? And uh shit. Nigga, long story short, nigga, like my daddy, like I said, my my daddy is BD. You know what I'm saying? Like so the hand same handshake I've been doing my whole life. You know what I'm saying? With my daddy, this nigga walked up to me after I'm, when I'm playing these beats and shit. The nigga will come from across the room, walk up to me, and give me that handshake. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know why we just did this handshake. I'm like, what? But well, he looking at me in my eyes, man. He looking at me the same way I'm looking at him. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Cause that's something that he make people do with him. No matter who you is, I don't give a fuck you the cameraman. You just me. He gonna walk up to you. He's gonna make you do this. Like, is this what he do? So he do it to me, but I do it. But you like now? Nah. That shit. Yeah, so I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? You know what I'm saying? So he's like, he's like, you folks? I'm like, no, nah, my daddy folks. So he just looked at me, he's like, all right, bet. I was like, he's like, shit, uh, he's like, shit. He said, we're gonna pick five beats and then we're gonna go downstairs and do them. I'm like, all right, bet. So we going through the beats. He pick, he pick his five, we go downstairs. We ain't do number four that night though, but he picked five, we go downstairs. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, we load up the beats and shit. You know what I'm saying? Remind you, these niggas wasn't talking to me at all and shit. None of this, like, everything just changed. Like, these niggas so, didn't... Are they talking through, like, a manager or something? Huh? They talking through a manager or something? Or they... No, they pulled up to fuck with Mike Will. So they go uh, talk to Mike Will. They ain't talking to nobody in the room. Like, they with Mike Will. I start playing beats, the nigga come over to the room and shake, shake my hand. You know what I'm saying? So Dan told me we're going to go downstairs when he pick his five. So he pick his beats and shit, we go downstairs. We in, Now we're recording and shit. The nigga ain't come out the booth. You know what I'm saying? Like, at all. He did his four songs, all one take. He ain't come out the booth. You know what I'm saying? They ordered some Boston Nova. It's some, it's a nice little spot in the L.A. They had got some pizza and shit from Boston Nova. Mm-hmm. And said, nigga was like, Rory, you want some pizza and shit? So now niggas know my name, Rory. So now Tato and Bar, they come out and they start talking to me and shit. Man, where you from? And this and that and this and that. And you rapping. All this old shit. So I was like, yeah, I'll be rapping and shit. He was like, spit some. I'm like, man, I'm off of the freestyle, man. Like, I'll play some shit in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So when Sosa came out the booth, I played him some music. And them niggas was looking like, what the fuck? Like, but I ain't really rapping for real. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, fucking around. Was you, was you saying the yeah shit yet or no? No, I wasn't even there yet. I wasn't even all the way there yet. Like, that's what all the reason why I do that, though. Bob told me to do it. Enzy money. They was like, bro, like, like, nigga, yo shit the closest, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, you need, you, you bro, I said it just one time. Bro, that's what Bob used to say, bro. You got to say it one time. And I used to be so against it. Like, man, I'm not finna say that shit. Like, because I look up to him so much. Like, I look at the WAP so much. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, bro, I ain't finna do that shit. And then niggas was like, bro, you got to do that shit, bro. You got to. So I just start doing it. You know what I'm saying? Then me and Bob, we start, start doing records. We start just pushing out records. Me and Bob got like 20 records. Like, just, just, just over time, you know what I'm saying? Just pulling up on each other, you know what I'm saying? So I start doing that. I start doing this shit. I start putting this shit out. I just said I'm going to put out a tape for Bank, for Bankroll on his birthday, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was going to be my present to my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, happy birthday. So that I wasn't thinking about being a rapper. I wasn't trying to, do, you know, yeah. rapper, none of that shit. So I just dropped it. I dropped it on his birthday, you know what I'm saying? No videos, no nothing. I just dropped. That shit went crazy. I had stars on all the songs the next day. Yeah. Like, literally, the next day I wake up, I got stars on my shit. Like, what the fuck? Huh? It's on Apple Music, too? Yeah, this was on Apple Music. Yeah. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, what the fuck? So, shit. I'm like, damn, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Bro, I check my DMs. I got hella people tagging me, bro. They like, bro, Salsa just went live listening to your song. I ain't even tell, bro, my shit was dropping or none of that shit. I just dropped it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that shit was crazy. The nigga went live listening to Hot as Hell. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Man. Nah, okay. Nah, that, that's a fucking fire ass song, too. Nah, I don't know. Like- I listened to Hot as Hell, and then Lil Reese went live with him listening to Hot as Hell again. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was crazy. It ass look, bro. Man, that shit definitely changed everything. Man, that shit changed everything. Man. For sure. Damn. Oh shit! At that point, now I was like, damn. Now I really gotta rap now. Like, can't stop rapping now. Shit, I got niggas looking for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we waiting. We waiting. For we the people, we waiting, bro. Mm. Yeah, that's my nigga forever. He definitely changed my life for sure. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, we definitely putting out some more shit. We got some more music coming. We got Almighty Soul so Two dropping. Oh, Very soon. Uh, can't get you no know, date because he gonna be mad. We got that shit dropping soon. Phone him was a little warm up. Shout out to. Is it 2022? Yeah, for sure. For sure. A season. No, I can't get you no season. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, God, damn, man, you supposed to be my boy, man. You trying to, you know what I'm saying? Look, you just, look. <laughs> I'm not a new nigga, you know. I, I'm a young. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 he's trying I, to get it up. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Tight shit, tight shit. But yeah, now nah, we ready. We re- we definitely ready. But yeah. I don't know. Next tape, man. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I know I'm putting out Draw Top Boys this year. Me, Sway Lee, Jim, we're going to be on now. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely coming. Like, for sure. Like, Draw Top Boys coming sooner, boys. sooner than you can blink. You know what I'm saying? Fuck sooner than you can think. Oh, God. Uh, 
We got that coming out. We got Shrine for Life dropping. We got a lot of nice, you know what I'm saying, big projects coming out this year. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I'm dropping again, I don't know. I might drop, you know what I'm saying? I might drop a couple days or so. I don't know. Bruh, we ready? I put on the Rory by Sosa, but I got put on by Sway Lee. I heard Rory shit with Ted's bang. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so some people, some people, some people know me from Sway. A lot of people know me like from 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 phone though. You know what I'm saying? But however you know me, shit, I appreciate you for rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Listening to this shit that I'm putting out. Look, you know what I'm saying? That ain't the same. I'm just trying to just change. Look, gloves. Oh yeah, Shouty put other people on to me too, cause she did a little TikTok or reel or whatever. To the hell was that? That shit. Was Crazy. I'm talking about that shit had like half a million views. Like, what the I, fuck? I gotta be. I never knew who she was either. To then, like, she turned. She from New York. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. motherfucker all the way in New York listening to me. Like, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no videos out, nothing. I ain't did no shows, none of that shit. Like, I just be. No just, shows yet either, bro? I ain't did no shows. I ain't did nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I do shows with Shrim. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be performing. You know what I'm saying? I'll be fighting with my brothers, making sure they straight, making sure niggas ain't tweaking in the crowd around us. Mm -hmm. I call on hoes and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm that shit, like, I'll be with my boys. I do shows with so now. I'll be on the same shit, but I'll be making sure I got my boy back. I don't mm -hmm. be with the hype man and shit. I don't be with all that shit, grabbing the mic, doing all that. I'll be how it's going to be when I got to perform shit. I don't, I don't like talking in the mic, like in front of people and shit. I don't like doing this shit. Hey, bro, right. what you smoking on? Let me, can I ask that? What you got, what you smoking on right now? No Jeezy. That's an old Jeezy? No, nah, no Jeezy. So, oh, no. you know what I'm saying? LA Foes intro put me on the raw. That's old. Damn, you got to be for St. Louis. Yeah, L.A. Foles, you know what I'm saying? L.A. Foles, that's a nigga from St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? That ain't no GD, no BD, nothing. That's blood, you know what I'm saying? Like, but they from over there, you know what I'm saying, from Scam Block. My grandma used to stay off Sarah and Aaron, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the scan, you know what I'm saying? Or down, you know what I'm saying? Like, down on the west, like, I used to see them niggas all the time, YD Foles. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga YD. I've been on YD since I was a little kid. YD got killed. You know what I'm saying? My baby mama was pregnant. Was right, right. He got killed in December, I think. Like the December before Bank got killed. That March. You know what I'm saying? If that if that's crazy. Like, but these are my close peoples. Like that died before my son was even born. Like, that crazy. Like, like these, like his uncles type shit. Like they ain't never gonna they ain't never gonna meet him. Like you know what I'm saying? But these my niggas, like, yeah, like, I've been, but yeah, like, that's the, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm a real street nigga, dog. Like, <laughs> I've been in the streets. I was, man, I used to walk the goddamn blockbuster with YD, nigga. We used to, nigga, steal games, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, we used to steal games out there, bitch. All day, nigga, like. Like, this is what we did. Make beats, nigga. Play, play, nigga. What? Man, it's crazy. I miss my boy, man. My boy was so fucking, like, like, if you know who, like, y'all know Tato, that, that's YD to me. Okay. Straight that's, up. Okay. Like, but, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Crazy as a motherfucker, like, dude. But you need niggas like him, though. Like, he's yeah. going to get done, like, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I might have got weed down my hoodie, fo. Like, damn, I hate that shit. It feel weird. But yeah, like, yeah, he's like Tato. Like, just crazy as a motherfucker. Outspoken, say whatever, talk all the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can rap, don't really want to rap. Too busy <laughs> on other shit. You know what I'm saying? Just on Tato ass uh, earlier today. Like, nigga, what's up? Like, what we doing, bro? Like, damn, man. Like, everybody else dropping shit. We do you know, for real, bro. We ain't, I ain't hear shit since uh, uh, it's a hit, right? Like the the uh, the CPR. Last, oh, 2020, I think. That was twenty twenty, I think. Because these years be passing. I'd be really surprised. I'd be looking back. Hey, this music be getting old, bro. I mean, like, I mean, I still be fucking with it, like it's brand new. But this should be getting old, low key. We need some new shit type shit. 
Yeah, I'm finna drop. I don't know niggas be finna drop. I'm finna drop though. For sure. I'm definitely finna drop. I'm finna, finna put some more shit out. I've been just trying to just, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, keep my shit going. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I just this shit, I just make it look look easy. Tato got me hurting. No gloves, no blood. Not enough. I'm fucking him. It ain't enough. Oh, God, bro. What? That was, it's a hit. CPR. Uh, yeah, CPR. He had a bunch of little, you know, little cool shit on there. Not all valid. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, what's that one? I'm going 140. Uh, no, no, that's a double song. Um, the fucking wedding blew on my ass, some shit like that. I can't remember, but we had that one. Oh, lamb truck. That shit went crazy. But yeah, I don't know. This man lagging out. My internet going up. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. This man good. I don't know, y'all. Man, Rory good. We gonna see. Oh, all right. Well, shit. Thank you guys for coming out. That was Sean Ferrari on the stream. That was mad random, mad cool. Nice talking to him. Thanks for the interview, bro. Learned a lot. There's a whole bunch of shit I ain't never even knew. And I got homework. So do y'all. We got to go tap in, nigga. Let's keep it pushing. Thank you, Justin. Drop it January 21st.